right, all right. Why did I? This is the band version. All right, all right, all right. I got you. I got you. Ah, okay. Here we go. Here we go. My bad. My bad. Oh, this is this is dedicated to his fans, right? All right. Damn. Damn, bro. Look at that. That is so sad, man. That's pretty sad, bro. Like, <clears throat> and the thing is, man, like, I know that these guys have come from really tough backgrounds as well, right? Constantly, like, constantly being, being judged and shit on by other people. He, here he says, like, I'm, I'm, I'm used to being judged. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Damn bro. <laughs> Everything has changed when I met you. He's talking about his fans, right? Bro, come on, Ken. How can you how can you look like how can you look like such a bad boy and then like make us emotional with lyrics like this? <laughs> Man, that is so sweet. Bro, that is so wholesome. There's a new life that you prepared for me. He's talking about his fans, right? They changed his life, man. He like from from being judged by so many people and then he he had, you know, he created this fan base who just support him no matter what, man. That is really nice, man. And this just shows that he he actually like cuz there are so many artists, man, let's be honest, right? who uh, uh, as soon as they get fame and they're up there you know they don't they get so they get so caught up with with the fame and the bitches and the money that they don't even they don't even go back to like reflect on uh, this wouldn't be possible without without my fans right this wouldn't be possible like I wouldn't be here without them but like you can see that he is the type of person who actually knows where he came from and he uh, he goes back and tells the people that were with him from the beginning that I know you guys helped me, you know, and I appreciate that. This, this genre of music he's doing right now, it's like rock and rollish, right? It's like rock and rollish, and he also sings. Bro. Again, man, it's versatility. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at grandma. Look at the grandma, man. <laughs> Even grandma loves Ken, man. Even grandma loves Ken. <laughs> He's 
saying just please don't leave. Damn, bro. Can't stop it, man. I'm not supposed to be emotional today. Stop it. He's badass looking, but he has a soft heart. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he looks so badass, but then, man, he sings lyrics like this. Aside from the, the meaningful lyrics, man, the song itself was really nice. It was a nice song, man. And the fact that he, you know, he does, he does like, rock and rollish type of songs as well. Uh, let me see. Um, what are people saying? Bro, everyone is typing in Filipino, man. I want to see what people are saying. Wait, don't forget, don't forget to vote. Push awards. SB19, Philip, Josh, and Aiden are nominated. Ooh. We have 80k votes per category. Let's vote and show our support. Damn. What's what's push awards? SB19 is nominated. Damn, bro. Uh all right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Uh Stray Dogs. Yes, yes, yes. He got fans of all uh, ages and gender. Yeah, I've noticed, man. When it comes to SB19 as well, they have fans from every like gender and and uh, age which is kind of crazy man because i mean you would think that you know these guys uh if you're not like that if you haven't dived into uh sp19 like from from an outside perspective right you would just look at look at uh, these guys and assume that all right these they're just a boy band right like any other boy band and uh, their their group like their fandom is probably just you know uh, teenager, teenage girls who who think that they look good, right? That's what you would assume. But when you're diving into them, and you find out how talented they are, you also find out, holy shit! Like there are grandmas and grandpas, and uh, so many people who actually love these guys, man. Mm -hmm. 